What's gonna happen? Well, let's find out. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. I'm super excited about this video because again in this video, we're gonna be playing with poppets. We pretty much all know what these are, right? These are fun for everybody. Let me open one for those of you who don't know what these are. This is what they look like. They're very small and when you drop them, yep, they make a snapping sound. They're very harmless. As you guys will see right now, I can easily flick them and crush them with my finger and nothing happens. Well, we're gonna be playing with these and basically what we're gonna do is test out their power. See how powerful these can be if you use a lot of them. For example, I'm gonna take all these poppets and I'm gonna remove them from the wrapper, undo them, and let all the little rocks accumulate on this piece of white paper that I have right here. I'm gonna do this to all of these. One bag contains about 50 poppets. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna undo all of them and make a little pile of those little rocks, just like that. For this first experiment that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove everything from this pen. So you'll need a pen for this. This is a very basic pen. You guys can find these in any classroom. All we need is the tube, the body of the pen, and the cap. So we're gonna start filling it in with these little rocks. All right, so I filled it up as much as I could. As you guys can see right here, it's filled up with these little rocks. I'm gonna put the cap back on the pen. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna let this drop. I'm gonna throw it up in the air. And when it falls, we'll see what happens. Will the cap pop out? Will anything happen? Let's find out right now. Here's the pen, guys. I'm gonna throw it up in the air. Let's see what happens. I guess the cap didn't pop out. As you guys can see, it did pop but the cap didn't pop out. You guys can see the ash right there. It's very dirty, so all the little rocks in there did pop. Okay, so this first one was a bit of a disappointment, but I know this next one won't because we already tried it, except that this time we're gonna do a things a bit more different. We're gonna take a little glue stick like this one, we're gonna open it up, and of course we're gonna take out the glue. And then the inside, of course, we're gonna fill it up with some of these little rocks. So I have some already here, and I'm just gonna take this piece of paper and sort of use it as a funnel to slide the little rocks inside. Be very, very careful when doing this because you don't want to set them off just yet. All right, well that's as much as I could fit in there. Next up, I'm gonna put the cap on and we're not done yet. I got this for Christmas. It has a bunch of Snickers on there, basically a plastic candy cane. Well, we're gonna use this for a little experiment. So I'm gonna open it and I am gonna take out all the Snickers. So all we need is a tube. Moment of truth, guys. I'm gonna be holding onto this tube. I'm gonna take my glue stick that's filled with those little rocks and I'm gonna drop it inside this tube right here. And we're about to see what's gonna happen. Do you guys think it's gonna pop out all the way out of the tube or is it gonna stay in there? Is it gonna explode? What's gonna happen? Well, let's find out. <laughs> oh man, it totally worked. Oh, let's look at the contents inside. <laughs> look at that ash. Wow, at least my ceiling didn't get damaged. That was fun, huh? What I have here is a regular balloon that I filled up with air. In my last video where I used poppets, I used a balloon and I did a little experiment wanting to know if the balloon would pop if I put poppets inside and then shook it. Whoa. <laughs> well, it worked. The balloon did pop with just a couple of poppets. Now this time we're gonna do something similar, but at the same time it's gonna be different because the poppets are gonna be on the outside, taped to the bottom. So I put some party snaps on this piece of clear tape, which I'm gonna tape on the bottom of this balloon. So I'm just gonna slap it on there, like this. 
Okay, so the parts and halves are taped on the bottom of this balloon. Now, it's weighing it down, so the balloon will fall at a rapid speed, faster than normal. So, if the party snaps pop, will the balloon pop? Let's find out. Here goes, guys. I guess not, right? But then again, there's not much distance between where my hand is at and where the table's at. So, what happens if I use force? Will the balloon pop then? I, the party snaps popped, but not the balloon. Let's try it once more. Nope. So as far as right now, two of the experiments haven't worked. Let's see if the next one will. Next up, I want to test the strength of these tapes. I got some masking tape right here, some clear plastic tape, and some duct tape. Let's see who to win. Poppets or the tape? Here I've already accumulated some rocks, which I'm going to test the tapes with. So the first one will be the plastic one. I'm going to get a piece like this, then I'm going to start putting some poppet rocks inside. Alright, so I'm going to wrap everything up like a little taco burrito. We're basically making a little jumbo poppet. I'm going to twist the ends. And I'm going to repeat the process with the masking tape and the duct tape and we're going to test them all out. All right guys, well I made a large popper right here made of duct tape. This one's made of masking tape. And of course you guys saw me making this out of clear tape. So I'm gonna let these drop from about two feet and we'll see which one's stronger. I'm thinking that the duct tape is strongest. So we'll see. All right, so here's the clear tape. Ah, <laughs> oh, I never stood a chance. Look at that. <laughs> well, now let's try the masking tape. And here it is. <laughs> Whoa, this one was worse. It hardly put up a fight. Let's see what the duct tape has to offer. All right, here it goes. <laughs> wow, it opened up, but I guess it did hold up. It's just that the adhesive didn't hold it together, but the actual tape is not damaged, guys. There's no really openings or holes. So I guess duct tape kind of put up a fight, but in the end, it didn't because it did open up. All right, guys, for this last one, what I have here is a pill bottle. These are supposed to be strong, so I'm going to test these out. I'm gonna put some Poppets rocks inside and we'll see how well it does against these. I'm gonna start pouring them in. I'm gonna pour them into this piece of paper first to use this as a funnel. All right guys, well I pretty much filled up this whole pill bottle with the Poppets rocks. Next I'm gonna put the cap on. I'm gonna twist it on. And from right here, I'm going to let this drop. Wow! Look at that! Alright, so Pill Bottom lost the fight, as you guys can see. It lost it pretty bad, except for the cap. The cap did pretty good, but the bottle itself, well, these are the pieces. So yeah guys, these are my own personal experiments that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't want you guys trying these out at home. I just wanted to show you. These are poppets. They sell them at the store. They're safe. But as you just saw, if you put a bunch of them together, this is what could happen. It was really fun making this video. So I hope you guys liked it and gave it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now with the bell notifications turned on. To everybody that watched this video, thank you guys so much. I'll see you pranksters in my next one. From about two feet up, I'm gonna let this drop. We'll see what happens to this piece of paper. Here goes. Then we'll find out who really is stronger, the fidget spinner or the poppy. Oh, wow.